After performing hand hygiene and ensuring privacy, introduce yourself to the patient. Then identify him using two identifiers and confirm patient information on the requisition form. And go ahead and just tell me your name and date of birth, please. Raymond Williams, 10362. Okay. Apply clean gloves. Give the patient a cleansing towelette or a towel, washcloth, and soap to cleanse his perineum or help him to do so if necessary. If he's unable to get up from the bed, help him onto a bedpan to allow him to reach his perineum. Then remove and dispose of your gloves. Open the sterile specimen jar, maintaining the sterility of the inside of the container. Set the cap down with the inside, which is sterile, facing up. Take care not to touch the inside of the cap or the container. Allow the patient to cleanse his perineum and collect the specimen if he's able to do so on his own. If he needs your help, hold the penis in one hand and use a circular motion to cleanse the meatus with an antiseptic towelette, moving from the center to the outside. Cleanse the area three times using three different towelettes. If the patient is uncircumcised, ask him to retract the foreskin so that the meatus can be cleaned effectively. Keep the foreskin retracted as he voids and return it to its natural position when he's finished. If your agency's procedure calls for it, rinse the area with sterile water and dry it with cotton balls or gauze pads. After the patient initiates a urine stream into the toilet or bedpan, have him pass the urine specimen container into the stream and collect 90 to 120 milliliters of urine. To collect a specimen from a female patient, instruct her to begin by spreading the labia minora with the fingers of her non-dominant hand. I'll give you one of these moist towelettes. I'll have you spread your labia with your non-dominant hand. Use one towel to wipe down one side from front to back, another clean one to wipe down the other side, and then one down the middle, always going from front to back, okay? okay. Hand you one of these towelettes here. If she needs help, you can do this for her. Use your dominant hand to cleanse the urethral area with antiseptic wipes. Starting with one labial fold, cleanse from the front, beginning above the urethral orifice, to the back, toward the anus. Use a new swab to cleanse the other labial fold, again moving from front to back. Finally, use a third swab to clean down the center, front to back. Some agencies require rinsing the area with sterile water and drying it with cotton balls. While continuing to hold the labia apart, ask the patient to begin urinating into the toilet or bedpan. Then pass the specimen container into the stream and collect 90 to 120 milliliters of urine. Have her remove the specimen container before the flow of urine stops and before releasing the labia. Allow her to finish voiding into the bedpan or toilet and assist her if she needs any help with personal hygiene. Now, replace the cap securely on the specimen container, touching only the outside of the cap. Inspect the specimen for contamination with toilet paper or stool and wipe any droplets of urine off the container. Be sure to label the container, not the lid. If the patient is a woman, indicate whether she's menstruating. Place the specimen in a biohazard bag and send it to the laboratory within 20 minutes, accompanied by a completed requisition form, making sure the time and date are present. Refrigerate the specimen if a delay is unavoidable. Be sure to dispose of all used supplies and perform hand hygiene. 